Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. In our last episode, we completed uh, destroying the remains of the Pripyat Pocket and began redistributing our forces back out to the front. Um, also, what we had was the little invasion force that the Canadians brought into Norway. They brought in a bunch of reinforcements and have started causing me a bit of a problem here. But, I'm loading up a bunch of uh, divisions and getting ready to make an amphibious landing of my own behind their lines and try and wipe out this Canadian force. Now, one other thing that I did notice when I was looking around here is something that looks to be a bit of a problem, which is this. The United Kingdom has basically retaken all of Greece and Albania. Um, and it looks like that a large full bunch, basically a large amount of the Italian army has gone with it, and they are invading over here. There's a large contingent um, it's trouble. They're also, the Italians are not doing very well in North Africa here either, so. But, I mean, to be honest, I really haven't been helping them either, so. There's something to be concerned about. Now, we still do have the buffer nations of Bulgaria and Romania and Hungary, um, before they would get into our territory, so. It's not a critical issue yet, but. Once. I deal with this uh, Canadian incursion in Norway, um, I might have to take these forces and bring them around and do something about this in Greece, and maybe help reinforce the Italians in North Africa. So, um, we're probably going to have to do something here. And it's given me a bit of urgency now to try to finish taking down um, Russia, because I'm running out of time. I need to take England out of the fight. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get things rolling here very slowly. Now one thing I did do, before I started recording, I did a kind of work on... Our Brest Gibraltar convoy is under attack. Oh, it's out there. Okay, well, actually, let, me, let me pause this back up. Um, before I started recording, I did kind of re start moving units around a little bit here. So I started moving units back into the front. Uh, nothing really major, just starting to get stuff deployed and prepared for my northern uh, offensive once everybody's in position. Um, so now I need to actually go take a look at that convoy. Yeah, there we go. We need to put another convoy on there. Um, where is my primary fleet? There he is. Uh, I might actually need to bring them down to patrol a little bit. Actually, what I'm going to need to do with this fleet is, if I catch an enemy force down there, I need to bring them back into uh, the North Sea here. Um, because once I do... Once I am successfully landed here, I'm going to need to set up a supply route to that port so that I can supply my units um, behind their lines. And I need to protect that supply route, so... Something else we're going to have to think about. Okay, and this looks like it's another motorized infantry division. Okay, we're going to drop it there. Alright, so where is my fleet? There it is. I'm not going to be doing much here until everybody is in position. Um, so, I'm just going to leave the Russian front alone. We're in the middle of November. It's winter time, so. Not exactly the best time to initiate an offensive. But we're going to try and get it done anyway, so. But the priority right now is these Canadians. Alright. This unit's retreating. Ah, there we go. The remnants of the French 
Navy. One of their aircraft carriers, and it looks like just some of their destroyers. Uh, if I could sink that aircraft carrier. Actually, let me let me pause this. I should have naval bombers, naval strike. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can get something done there. Lost none, they lost none. Okay, I would have liked to have done more damage than that, but that's some more French fleets. Um, one other thing I actually did want to do here with my production is I do need to make sure that I keep ground or land units being built, but I wanted to set up um, another fleet. Um, I think I want to actually do a couple of escort carriers. I want to make it a small fleet. Uh, a battleship. A couple of heavy cruisers. And some light cruisers. Because I need to also start thinking about my eventual invasion of the uh, British Islands and having to basically be able to hold the channel while I invade. So, having some extra ships kicking around is not going to be a bad idea. Okay, here's some British ships. Convoy Raiders, looks like. And, yeah, we blew them out of the water. And we're still bombing this French fleet. Oh, and we just engage them again with our surface fleet. the uh, HMS Emerald. Okay, let's see. We have begun our amphibious assault. And I've actually got a... I'm just gonna have to deal with whatever happens there, just keep those... Keep that supply line, you know, manned, even if we take some losses. But I need to get my primary fleet back. Okay, the Canadian Navy is attempting to stop my invasion. I don't think that's going to work too well for them. We got some good defenders there. And we have successfully landed. Okay, so. We need to engage them. Oh. Try and hold them there. This guy attack there. And we haven't taken the port yet, so hopefully we're gonna have the supplies to take the port. We won the Battle of Hell. Okay. We sunk two of the destroyer flotillas. We haven't completed the invade the uh, the landing yet. Alright, we need to take the port. 
and drive the Canadian fleet that's in that port out. Which looks like we just did. Actually, no, that's a different Canadian fleet. Come on, guys. Hopefully they're going to fall this unit back. Okay. Is this a different Canadian fleet? I haven't been paying attention. That again. They're retreating back in the port. I think they're trying to get out of the port, but they can't get out of the port because my fleet's sitting there. So I'm just going to have him just sit there. Um, has my primary fleet gotten back? Yes, they have. Steel production advance. That looks like we won the battle. We've taken the port. Alright, now as soon as we actually move into the port... Whoa, 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 what's this? Ah, oh, that's those militias, okay. Ah, look at this! Look at this! That... is really weird. Um, these are our resistance bases here. Underground base owned by Japan. The Japanese have a resistance force set up in Finland and have launched a force a militia out. Now he's drawing guys off the line here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take advantage, though. Um... Because it hasn't actually pulled guys off the line where I need them off the line, which is right here. Hmm... Okay, we took the port. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to go in here... Alright, what is the name of this port? Trondheim. Okay, so I want to set up a... Supply convoy... From... Hamburg... To Trondheim. Let's see, where is Trondheim? There you are. Hamburg, Trondheim. We're going to put our guys on there. Alright. And I'm going to send this fleet, even though they're a little banged up out, to protect the supply route. So I'm going to put them on patrol right there. So they're going to be protecting those regions. Alright. Let's actually send these guys back. in there, and then swing back around. Right, these guys march up there. Right, we want to make an ass 
salt, actually. Hold on, we can't actually move there. All right, we actually have them already cut off. So, it's just a matter of then attacking with what forces we have. Alright, so what other thing I wanted to do here is this core of heavy tanks. I want to actually move up here. We're having supply problems? We're having some supply problems. Let's see. Raiga. Can I do a supply run from... Königsberg? Riga. Let's see, let's do that. Create a convoy from Konigsberg to Riga. There we go. Just to help push a little bit more supplies towards the front. Right, we got uh, supplies. Oh, we've almost got another course worth of infantry getting ready to come out. Federal Storin. Oh, actually, I need to swing this guy back here. Because I have a couple more cores that I need to get together. We just don't have enough armor there right now. We won that battle. Yep, we've got them pinned. So you can't actually move into that region there. So we can actually launch an attack there. Oh, come on, really? We have garrisons in position. Not a problem. Rebalance my production again. Actually, we're just going to tell them go there and then go there. And then we need to chase this guy down. Uh, and actually what we can do is we'll send these two armored divisions to go do that. Can they even get through there? Yeah, probably. We just can't see those provinces at the moment. Yep, 
His entire Canadian force is going to get wiped out now. Oh, there we go. There is the infantry. Oh, wait a minute. Weren't all of you guys... Oh, I only... There we go. Now we got the whole core moving. All right. Now where do we want to put this infantry? Cause I got I got a stack of guys here and a stack of guys here. Now let me actually just distribute them around. Actually, what I want to do is I'm going to bring these up here. And then move these infantry units into position here. Gonna need them, need these guys actually. It's probably down here because these you guys are gonna have a lot of territory to hold. So I'm gonna stack them up down here as well. We still got a lot of forces moving in there, so. Our Riga convoy was attacked. Okay. We gotta put another transport on there. So, I guess the Russians must have a fleet there. Well, for the moment, oh, we got submarines. I'm gonna send these these fleets out. Actually, it was sunk there. battles. they're going to be part of the force that then helps deal with this mess down here. And we're just going to have to hope that the Canadians aren't going to make another amphibious attempt to land. Let's just send these guys over to patrol here real quick. Right, these guys need to be made a core, and they need to be attached to an army. Oh, the 8th army is like way up there. Uh, let's see. Guess we're going to have to make another new army. army group. They had the first army group, I guess. First army group is moving into position. Actually, no, they're retreating. 
Wait a minute, what is going on here? This core. Can we attach it to a nearby army? There we go. We managed to sink a transport. And there we go. Alright, just get these guys back here. I can probably actually cancel that Tron Time Convoy. And then I'm actually going to send you guys down here to patrol because now all of a sudden we've got some problems with the Russian Navy. Let's load these guys up. Let's bring them over here. Alright, so how can we deploy... Yeah, we want you there and you on the other side and then we'll just squish him. Okay, some more garrisons. Let's see, where do we want the garrisons? Uh, let's actually take a look at these garrisons. Let's get them where they need to be. One of you guys over here, and I'm going to put one of you guys down there. Oh, and there is actually something else I wanted to do now that I, I'm thinking about it, I want to do it, is I wanted to add the Conquer War Goal to the Soviet Union. I was just going to go ahead and take everything west of the Urals, but now I want the whole thing. And yeah, it looks like they have heavy armor. Yeah, it looks like those militia aren't going to last much longer. Those guys are coming into position. And these guys we can move into position here. And there. And there. Okay. They're moving into position there. And these guys can fan out along this front here. Good. Alright, so we're going to stack everybody up. All you guys stack up there. Oh, we still need to actually tell them to go there and then go there. Yep, they rose up directly underneath my garrison, so that's no problem. Alright, are we ready? Oh, we got more infantry. Uh, let's see. National decision. Uh, let's see what we get. 100 manpower, national manpower modifier, and leader defense. Okay, we'll do that. Well, news from the front's not actually grim. Alright, now, actually, I think I have enough guys in position to be begin 
the offensive. It is in the middle of January in Russia. Well, actually, we're not quite in Russia at the moment. We're actually still in the, in the, in the Baltic states, but you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch... We have to get across this river. So we're going to have to hit the front hard. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the infantry to do it. Launch the assault there. And I am going to... do a support attack there. And I need... I need my bombers. Close air support, I'm going to have to bring them into position up to the front. And let's see, where are, where are my transports? Here's some of my bombers. Ground attack. Heavy armor in position. Uh, let's throw those guys in, and let's throw these guys in. Am I getting stacking? Yeah, I'm getting the stacking. Okay. Um, uh, let's pull those guys out. Close air support, we'll bring those in. Then he's got a lot of units there. Ooh. A bunch of Russian submarines. That. So hopefully we can. Oh, we sunk a couple of them. that battle. My fleet has arrived. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... And they're pretty well stacked up here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to launch that, that way and that that way. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. We're, we're making progress. It's slow. But we are trying to get across the river against a huge stack of enemy troops. Alright, so these guys... Start actually marching them up to the front. I'm just gonna send them down there and them over there. Actually, I'm just gonna change the plans here. I'm going to use these. Yeah, that looks good. Seven. And what I can actually also do is I'm going to bring my interceptors back where they were before. Put them back on interception duty to protect there and bring these guys back over here bring them in to help support all right I'm gonna tell them to ground attack there Found their submarines again. 
Oh, Sling a couple more. Once we're across the river in one point, then we can begin the offensive in earnest. Alright, I'm actually going to tell him to fall out of formation. I'm going to bring this guy up. to start an offensive here because I want to push out to this river some point I might actually have to begin that offensive maybe when spring rolls around and we can do a spring offensive and start pushing the line out across the whole front all right and actually these garrisons I am going to resend them back out where they need to be. Alright, once that guy's in position, increase the speed, alright, and then we're gonna hit him. Now, one thing I might actually want to do here is where are their core? There it is. I'm actually going to detach them. I'm going to detach them. And I'm going to detach them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new army. Tenth Army. And it's going to be specifically for this group here. Is he trying to retreat into Sweden? They are granting military access to Canada. All oh, those little stinkers. Hmm. Oh, we got another motorized infantry division here. I'm gonna have to think about that. Alright, let's actually make them a core. Attach that core to the Eighth Army. And bring this core up to the front. Did they move fresh troops in there? Looks like they did. Launch a support attack again. And we're not looking too bad, though. See, is there any more troops that we need to get redistributed at any point here? Yes, these. Okay, so just march them out there. Bring them to the line. Just kind of get a nice stack going along here. submarines again. Oh, we sunk another one of them. Alright then, this is what we're going to have to do. This core is just going to have to stay here. 
bring this whole core out. And we're gonna just set them somewhere. And we're gonna have to basically keep an eye on this and hold this region. And then what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to load up as much of this as we can. No possible fleet. a whole bunch of IC. Okay, so. What we need to do is let's um, leave behind a couple of motor or armor. Uh, more of this. What I'm going to do is actually, so I don't think I have the range. No. These guys are going to have to rebase somewhere. Can I bring them to the Crimea? Sevastopol? Yes, let's bring in the Sevastopol. Then we'll bring these armor back. We're gonna have to march the infantry up there. Uh, uprising, so we'll just attack with the garrisons as usual. Uh, let's see how our northern offensive is proceeding. Right, we were able to get across the river. Okay, so what we want to do is... I am going to move those guys up there. And where did these come from? Okay, so them up there. Them up there. that there, move that there. And move that whole stack there. Okay. And this... We're going to launch a massive assault with our infantry. And we're going to do a support attack there. I want to keep my motorized and armor fresh. We're also going to do a support attack there as well. Big stack of infantry, that's okay. And we want to get our bombers involved in this action as well. This 
gonna be the hardest part, getting across the river. Once we're across the river, we have we're gonna have another river we're gonna have to cross here. But that shouldn't be too big a deal. And then we just get ourselves up there. is our Navy doing? They're in good shape. And where is our f big fleet? Well, that's our transport fleet, I'm, I mean. Over there, they look good. We won that battle, we won that battle. they have. Even after we destroyed that huge pile in the marshlands, they still have tons. And look at all of this. You have mechanized infantry. Which I'm gonna have some here as well. Soon. Alright, we won there. You stay behind. Okay. Well, actually, we're running a little bit long on this episode now, um, but you know, we have begun our uh, our northern offensive here to eventually take Leningrad. Um, we've dealt with, for the most part, the Canadian incursion, and we're beginning to try to deal with this British uh, force down here in Greece. See what we can do about that to help uh, Italy out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.